This man here is a below average rust player, or more commonly known as a bellow. How does one identify a bellow? Well, here are the telltale signs. Firstly, his name. Does it perhaps contain extremely bizarre capitalization? Does it perhaps make you cringe a little? If so, you may have found a bellow and may be in mild danger. After fumbling his inventory for quite some time, he may decide to attack you. But don't fear, a simple sidestep maneuver will avert his attack and bamboozle his mind. He may, however, decide to not do this and take a very bizarre strategy of jumping on your head continually. Understandably, this may irritate you and you may need to strike the ruffian to show him who's boss. This, however, will enrage him and in turn triggered an ever long pursuit of you. Driven by pride and the need for revenge, this man will follow you wherever you go, never ceasing and more often than not endangering his own life. However, there is a very easy way to discourage a pursuing bellow. A bellow's natural instinct is to loot anything that is thrown on the floor, regardless of its quantity, quality or functionality. This will give you ample time to dispatch the scallywag and be on your way. You may feel pity for the scallywag and attempt to revive him, but he will attack you, so it's best to finish off the chap and leave him there for the wolves. So remember these key points in the future and you may have an easier time when encountering a bellow. Name, attack, jump, pursuit, loot and revive. It's an easy to remember phrase that spells Nodgepool, Nodgepooler. Do remember to give this video a thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. It would be ever so kind of you. And do you know anyone who is a bellow? Perhaps comment below.